something manifest in your body will let you know many times what's happening spiritually okay now a metaphysical the metaphysical cause of um cysts are blockages associated with your femininity and being female so if you're not allowed to or you feel you're like you're not allowed to be fully feminine and fully female what happens is you're having to block off or wall off yourself from certain things you need to feel protected from external influences so that energy that is within the cyst is literally an emotion that has come through you or a desire or a feeling okay and you have had to wall it off with that that cyst that form around it that is the meta that is the physical manifestation of what you're feeling emotionally so there's energy within that cyst that you have had to block and you've had to um, keep walled off and protected. So basically women who have this are forced to be masculine. They're forced to deal with tough things alone. They're push, they have to push through pain or difficulty. They have to work when they need or want to rest. They have to be strong when they need, actually need support from others. Um, how many women, many, 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 many women who are single mothers have this? Why? Because, yeah, it does make sense, doesn't it? Why do they have to, why do they have this manifest? Because usually they'll get pregnant. The father might not be there. He might leave. Now, what do you have to do? You have to be mother and father. You have to be masculine and feminine. And what happens is you, you have those children there. They're needy. They need things from you, right? They need food. They need comfort. They need shelter. They need you to make a lunch. They need you to make their dinner. They need you to make their breakfast. And who's taking care of you? Nobody. So you don't have that support and that something feeding you and energizing you. So now you're depleting yourself and having to give out to others. And you're having to man up or masculine up, okay? You're having to be strong when you really need rest. How many times have single mothers had colds? Have they had their their back was hurting, their feet are hurting, their head is hurting, and they have to get up anyway and take care of someone else. They can't say, you ever seen that was that NyQuil commercial? He said, uh, parents don't take a day off. <laughs> you can't go in there and say, Hey, look here. Um, today I'm calling out sick from my parental duties. I have to take care of me today. And your kid going to be like, no, the hell you ain't. You're going to take care of me today. <laughs> you know? So that's what women are dealing with. They're having to be masculine. Masculine energy pushes through. Masculine energy is forceful. It just keeps going no matter what, right? And it's not receptive. It's um, electric. It's pushing out, okay? So... As a woman, that's not how you function. Even men don't really function this way. Men need to be fed too, but it's just done by a different process, a different flow. But women are receivers. Their vaginas go in. A penis goes in the vagina, even in the very um, uh, form and function of a woman's body and a man's body. You see who is the receiver and who is the giver, okay? And alternatively, if you go up the chakra system, you see where um, it's like a it's a snake, a um, like the codicus, the medical symbol, the the two snakes. It's supposed to weave back and forth. So he injects into her in the root chakra, which is safety and security, and then the creativity is in her sacral chakra, and then she gives back to him to his um, solar plexus. And then back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So the places where a woman protrudes are where she gives, like women's breasts protrude. So women give life through their breast. They give love through their breast. And then the man's supposed to receive it. And then it goes back and forth. He's supposed to just give and take, give and take, give and take. It's not supposed to be give, 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 give. That depletes people. That causes disease. That causes imbalances. Okay. So women are supposed to be receivers. So if you get into a situation where a woman is having to just give, 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 and no one is giving to her, then you get all these issues. So specifically with the um, cyst, ovarian cyst, 
like I was saying, you see that a lot in single parents, sing, single women, they feel unsupported. Um, they feel overwhelmed by their many responsibilities and they feel like they have to just be tough. Even though they really just want to fall in somebody's arms and just, oh, just hug me and love me and give me something. And they just need to want to feel soft and vulnerable. They have to be hard. They have to say, I got to push through this. I have to keep going because I don't, it's just me. There's nobody here. Okay. So basically you have to remain strong. Um, you might have been the shoulder that everyone else cried on. Um, even though you yourself needed it. Okay. So if anything resonates with you, if this has been you in the past, if it's you right now, you're having to give, 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 and you're not receiving and you're being strong, this can result in the cyst. Um, in our society, women are taught to be quiet and that they're not as valuable as men. This is a very masculine society. So being a woman, is kind of a dangerous thing or kind of a less than thing even woven into our language is when we say someone's being weak or we don't like what they're doing or whatever being pathetic we say what we say they're a pussy a pussy is a woman's vagina essentially and it's kind of crazy let's see every word resonates i'm newly introduced embracing feminism in the past i'm so happy to have hear that um being a pussy like pussies push out five six seven eight nine ten pound babies and then they actually go back to the shape that they were <laughs> before <laughs> so how in the world is being a pussy a negative thing you know but yeah and i'm not putting down men this is just an example we're just putting it out there but if you go for some man's balls He's protecting them and like, oh, don't touch that. That hurts. A woman's pussy can take a beating and keep on ticking. So in our society, we woven in these insults that don't even make sense. And have made being a woman like a less than thing. Hello, France. Um, or something that's not, you know, something to be proud of. So also um we complain a lot about um certain types of women being very aggressive and very um masculine and very overbearing yes girl this is why my girl pa patients are stronger than my boys i know girl I, I hate to say it but i've had some um i'm 36 i've had some <laughs> <laughs> I've had some patients. I ain't gonna say they gender. I ain't but two genders. A needle comes toward them and they about to die. <laughs> so I'm just, I don't know. Y'all take it how you want to. So anyway, why well, thank you, sweetie. So in childhood, you may have witnessed women or female authorities um, being belittled. So this is something that stays with you and you say, um in your mind i'm not gonna be that way i'm i'm going to be hard and masculine and i'm going to protect myself because nobody values women nobody values the feminine which has been a thing that has been predominant in our society for a very very long time um let's see your sub like i said um men are valued more than women so you choose to be more masculine um let's see so the cyst form because you need to, you feel the need to have a tough outer shell if you're constantly hearing the words toughen up okay don't cry keep pushing even though you're tired keep pushing even though this is hard and you're not allowed to let that energy those vulnerable feelings flow through you you're not able to feel feminine fit crying is a very purging and cleansing process it's something that men and women alike should be allowed to do and not feel belittled for it how many times have we told our children stop crying you know when they're upset like big girls don't cry big boys don't cry all these messages that we give our children are damaging to them because they will grow up thinking that is something wrong with expressing emotions, exp expressing overwhelmment. Think about the word I just said, expressing. To express means to draw forth or to push forth. 
um, when a woman expresses milk from her breast, she's pushing out the milk. She's releasing the milk. So to express means to release something. So if someone is feeling overwhelmed and they're crying, don't tell them not to do it. Let them cry. Let them express themselves. Otherwise, they will retain that energy, that hard shell around the cyst, which is what a cyst is, has a hard sh has a, a shell around it, and it has fluid inside of it. You and that in your feminine organs. The way to reverse PCOS is through diet and visualization and meditation and allowing your emotions to flow and allowing yourself to be fully feminine and allowing yourself to express your emotions, not to feel like you have to have a tough shell because you don't. You're allowed to express your energy. You're allowed to be feminine. You are allowed to cry. You're allowed to be overwhelmed and say, I need help. You're allowed to, to cry on someone else's shoulder. You're allowed to do that. That's the reversal. Very simply. Yes, there are herbs that support this. Yes, there are crystals that support this. But the root cause must be a change in the mind and the decision that you are okay if you cry. You are okay if you express your emotions. Otherwise, you're going to be what they call the bitter female who's always doing this and, and cussing everybody out and hard and tough. And we all know nobody likes that. And it's not that we don't, we want women to be weak. And it's not that we want women to um, be walked over. But the thing is, you have an innate feeling of not being safe in the world. This can come from being sexually abused. This can be ancestral. This could be something that your mother went through. <clears throat> and she passed that energy on to you. When people say things are genetic, eh, sort of, kind of. It's really a passing down of energy. If she was abused, then she passed the energy down to you. You come into the world, you innately feel that when she's going to act out of her fears, you're going to observe them. And it's going to be a perpetual thing until you make the decision to change. So it's a combination of herbs, crystals, um, Reiki, visualizations, and changing your thoughts and your patterns. Well, if I'm boring you, baby, guess what? You can always leave the scope. Bye-bye. So anyway, um... People are retarded, I swear. I, I, okay, let me, let me get it together. <laughs> Why? I don't get it. Woo! Okay, so yeah. Somebody just came with my scope and said, you're boring me. I'm like, well, honey, we, we have choices. You're right. I, I need to work on that. I'm going to work on that. Ignore the trolls. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. Releasing those emotions, expressing them. That is the reversal. Um, energetic work is all about reversing the flow. Okay? When you reverse the flow, healing ensues. You've been um, contracting with, agreeing with certain um, perceptions, certain energies, and allowing them to take resonance in your body, in your auric fields, and blocking your chakras and doing different things. So... When you reverse the flow to more positive things, it is good to express your emotions. It is okay to cry. It is okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to ask for help. Then you shrink those cysts. Because now that energy that's trapped in there that was trying to express itself is not walled off anymore. Okay? So, let's see. That's what I wrote. See, I wrote this down and I just said it. <laughs> before I got on here I did a lot of um, meditating, thinking, and reading and putting this together so I could make sure I said everything I wanted to say so um, let's see so basically in some way most people who have this let's see, let me read this and I was never the bitter female, always nonchalant one who didn't bother with emotions of vulnerability okay, see it doesn't manifest always as being bitter and angry sometimes it could just be like I just I don't want to I don't feel comfortable being vulnerable I don't feel comfortable expressing my emotions and that can cause those little cysts usually people who are very very angry and bitter that's the ones that get the burst the cysts that burst because there's so much energy and volatile energy behind it they burst okay so it depends on, that's why I said consultation is so important 
and getting a specific reading